salutations friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to review blue from ralph lauren if you'd like to know what i think about this fragrance then keep watching for transparency purposes i purchased this this was not sent to me to review this is something that i bought blue was released in 2005 and from my knowledge is widely regarded to be one of the most beautiful Ralph Lauren fragrances, but also one of the most underappreciated Ralph Lauren fragrances. I see more people talk about how gorgeous that the scent is. Whenever I post or talk about it, people are like, where did you find that bottle? Oh my goodness. It is such a pretty scent and I've wanted to review this for you for a while. And so I'm reviewing it for you now but just, it is so, just there's something special about the scent. So the notes in this fragrance, I would widely consider to be a very watery floral uh, bouquet or banquet of scent. You have lotus, peony, lilac, rose, jasmine in there, tuberose as well, lots of white florals. You also have sandalwood, musk, and amber at the base. This scent has a lot of conflicting floral notes going in it. You have those floral notes that are in a lot of bath products, which can make fragrances smell clean and soapy, and smell like a luxurious bubble bath and not a nice fragrance. And then you have those white florals that can be very overpowering, and I mean very overpowering. Then you have amber that can make things too sweet musky specifically with rose and white florals so that can make things smell very dated uh, there's a lot of different notes in here that are very conflicting but they come together to create something really harmonious and beautiful there is a lot of florals in this scent but it doesn't come off heavy it comes off light airy ethereal watery wispy and just beautiful it dances on the skin with this beautiful little flowers everywhere without feeling like you're suffocating. The sandalwood and the musk in there really help kind of anchor and balance those florals without overpowering the delicate kind of composition that it has going on in the top and at the heart and I think that that's really beautiful and the amber just kind of adds a little touch of sweetness, a touch of depth the littlest touch of resin which again kind of keeps those florals from being too overpowering but this is not a heavy fragrance this is not a crazy overpowering fragrance it's a light beautiful and delicate scent that smells so pretty on the skin it is just gorgeous i think that's why so many people have fallen in love with this it's so beautiful it's so pretty and so i really wanted to do this fragrance the best justice i possibly could which it's not enough because it's gorgeous and just talk about how pretty it is so this is the type of scent that you can wear anywhere the scent is light and airy and sweet sparkling dazzling and feminine not too heavy but it does have a presence which is really really nice you can wear this pretty much all year round I think that the sandalwood and the amber kind of give it a little bit of an anchor for a nice kind of like fairy tale s kind of like kissed by winter scent you could wear in the colder months but it would be really beautiful in the springtime i think this scent does have a lot of florals going on for because but because it's not heavy or overpowering this scent i would definitely recommend wearing to the workplace you could wear it to work you could wear it to class you could wear it on a date especially if you're going to go someplace like the theater and you're not sure like it's a safe scent but it's a beautiful scent it's just an all-around pleasant beautiful scent to wear and i really cannot sing this fragrance enough praises it's so pretty it's so so good the lifespan on the scent the lifespan of this scent there we go on my skin is about six hours it does have a lot of light airy watery beauty to it but because you have the sandalwood the amber the musks and those white florals with the rose it does have a lot of staying power on the skin it's going to have a little bit of projection i'd say it has about moderate projection and sillage for the first few hours and then again it becomes more of a skin scent but you can wear smell it pretty much from start to finish i'd say it's more of a linear scent it opens up very floral a tiny bit tiny bit musky um when it dries down but again that musk kind of again balances out those florals and then it just smells the same from start to finish 
Okay, so guys, I'm gonna stop rattling on about this scent. I just really wanted to talk to you guys about how much I love it. I know a lot of people really appreciate this scent. I see more people talk about this fragrance uh, than any other Ralph Lauren scent for women in regards to the fragrance community, but it's so underappreciated. It needs more love. It deserves more love. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'd love to know what you guys think of Blue from Ralph Lauren. Thanks guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.